School pep bands add to the lively atmosphere of high school activities. For South Harden, the music almost died. Taj, Taj Simmons has more in this week's Wired. If you cross over the Hardin County line on Highway 175, you'll realize very quickly they have a fervor for their South Harden High Tigers. But the real stars aren't wearing helmets. They're holding horns. You have cheerleaders out there that are pumping the crowd up, but the band is just as important. And some Tigers like Jay Stanish earned their stripes a long time ago. I'm on the school board. How old would you say you are? Let's just be honest and say that 50 years ago, I was a freshman in high school playing in a high school band. The South Harden Pet Band needed super seniors, middle schoolers, and everyone in between. Band director Nathan Hardy said the band did not have the students to play on without the extra help. What about the band kids? They needed their outlet. They needed their way to express themselves and show who they are. And that's what I think we've, we've done here. Some students have joined this Motley crew, including Harden's son Caden on drums and Ike Kroger on trumpet, both members of that other team on the field. I go out and hit, hit the other people just as hard as the others, but then I go into the music room and I go bang on some drums. I remember when I first picked up my first trumpet back in fifth grade, I was like the sword in the stone, basically. They pick, picking up Excalibur. That's what it was like for me. This unique mix also means some parents are now bandmates with their children. There's probably four or five of us who are playing with our own kids. And that is something we never would have gotten to do without doing this. This band of all ages does more than just add theme music to touchdowns. They're the sound of South Harden County, who always leave their fans wanting an encore. In Eldora, Taj Simmons, WHO 13 News.